so it's been a little while since I looked at some kind of Eric Johnson chords and there's a Patreon member what's your name? Robert Hamilton who asked me if I'd look at this kind of cover of a Stevie Wonder tune by Eric Johnson and kind of pull out some of the stuff that I thought was interesting so if you haven't heard the tune Uptight by Stevie Wonder it's kind of an interesting one um, and it's kind of a two chord vamp and it kind of does this thing <laughs> So in this case where Eric Johnson is playing it, we're playing in B major, and normally in B major you'd have an, an F sharp major, because that would be chord 5, which would be a dominant, right? And in this case, we go to an F minor, um, which is then giving you like a B mixolydian flavour. Dorian, however you want to think about it. So, this is his kind of first big chord. So it's like a like a bar chord, but you're going to leave these two strings to ring free. So with your pointer finger, you're just going to play the top E string, and you end up with the notes B, F sharp, B, D sharp, the third, and then a B and an E, which is like a sus four. Um, so you can think of that as like a B major with the 4 added. And then his second chord is this, and I think the bass is playing an F sharp, but Eric Johnson's bottom note is a C sharp. So this, on just the guitar, is an A in first inversion, with an added 9, that B. Um, but if you put your thumb over, the sound of it in the actual tune because the bass is playing this F sharp. A really nice chord I think. So it's going between those two. And it kind of does that, the vamp at the start. And he plays that C sharp minor like that, so C sharp, 7, B, E, and then a G sharp in the top. And then just a, a box standard F sharp bar chord. I'm going to turn the delay off a sec. Or not. Like that. So that's kind of the intro part of it. But some really nice chords there. And you could also think of these chords as something that would work in something like Paramore's tune, The Only Exception, which is something weird to come to mind. So it's kind of a, a relatively common thing that you hear in pop tunes, actually. You hear it in some Coldplay tunes as well. And that's just turning that dominant into a minor chord instead of the major chord. So it would normally be... In this case you're going... Okay, so then in the middle of the verse, he kind of does this thing um, where he's playing like this. So these kind of chords I would find quite easy to hybrid pick, but he's doing a thing where he's... Which is actually really difficult to block out the notes which you don't want to hear because he's actually only playing a B, I think, anyway, a G sharp and an E. So naturally that G wants to ring out, so you've got to kind of flatten your middle finger like that and try and block off that G string from ringing uh, but you also don't you don't want that so you kind of want and he does that which again is difficult to keep in tune 
feeling I'm feeling there. Something like that. And then this weird chord, really difficult to, to get that pressure right. So, so what's difficult about this part is trying to get those things to not ring out. And then that chord I find quite hard. really hard for me to grab so I need to practice that but yeah so try and use your flesh part of the middle finger to block off those open strings and then be wary of your placement of this ring finger so that you're not pulling it out of tune like I am and then that will probably take a bit of practice so anyway, that's that same chord from the intro, and then this one is like a really nice A in first inversion, so you've got a C sharp, an A, the 9, then the E, and then the 9 again. Um, it's a bit of a handful to grab though, so practice that, and that's one that I'm going to be practicing. So. I find it a lot easier, as I say, to hybrid pick. This stuff. But that chord. It's nice. So, some other chords that happen in the tune that I like include these things, so this is like, if you imagine a D minor, but imagine you're playing it like this, move it up to here, so we've got like an F sharp minor, but we're playing it sort of with an C sharp in the bass and an F sharp here, so we're kind of acting with this finger as a capo sort of and then for the E so we're going from an F sharp to an E it's the same kind of idea we've got a D minor kind of shape there and an D shape there so just little triads with this finger producing like a moving fret or like a capo so that might be something that might be kind of fresh to you, but I think it's got a nice ringing kind of tone to it. Then one other really cool chord is up here. So we've got an E, an F sharp, a G sharp and a D sharp. Kind of similar. It's like a... So we got the 9 and the 7, I just think it's got a really nice sound. And you could play that as chord 1 with the B in the bass, or as chord 4 with an E in the bass, so I think that's a chord that I want to get into my playing a bit more, so I'm, I'm going to practice moving this around. getting used to that kind of stretch, it's a big stretch. But I think a really cool sound. Then one other really cool sound is this. So 
So I've used that kind of thing before. So he plays it in the middle of the that. So you could either think of this as like an A major 7 or like an F sharp minor kind of thing. So I think that's a really cool thing worth checking out as well. And then the, the last thing that I thought that jumped out to me, I'm going to do some more on this particular thing because there's this really cool breakdown. This part kind of stuck out to me. So we're using a combination of hybrid picking and picking, so we kind of pick with this kind of same idea, you've got a B major with the 4 in there as well, and then this really nice chord, so this is a version of an A chord with a C sharp in the bass, so we go. It's really nice. to control but I think worth getting to grips with so this is maybe what I would practice for this particular part sounding even and actually fretted out and like that but just one of those really nice kind of typical Eric Johnson kind of things where it's super pretty sounding and quite intricate some really nice chords there I think so I'm going to come back to this tune again and I think do more of that breakdown in the middle but if you wanted to check out those chords I put them in a sheet for the Patreon people um, and I've also got that backing track from the start if you wanted to try playing along with it and playing over it um, but yeah thank you for stopping by if that was at all interesting let me know you could do the liking and subscribing thing if you want I'm using the helix here my Eric combined preset um, yeah thank you for stopping by catch you in a bit Cheers.